Okay, I think we are recording and being thrown right into this opening animatic shit. I guess we'll introduce introduce ourselves later. Uh, long ago, when gods were closer to men, a great hero fought to save mankind with divine aid. In his possession, hi Winnie, wants to be included, was a sword of light. To pierce the darkness. Exalted Falchion, let's go! And a sacred emblem of burning light, born of flames. A fire emblem, maybe? An emblem that surpasses time and space. <laughs> this is a story of the fabled fire emblem! <laughs> oh, they said it! Oh, we just blew out the mic. Shit. Whoa, oh, that was it. that was snazzy. That was cool. Uh Fire Emblem, the Binding Blade. Exposition heavy in the opening because it's a Fire Emblem game. Also, hi, that just started right out. I'm Avalon. And I'm Ray. And we're back. We're back, baby. Remember when oh, it's got more more shit if you if you don't press start. We're not gonna worry about that right now. You guys enjoy that while it goes across the screen, because this is not Shit we'll never see again. <laughs> um, yeah, it's been a long time since we've done a video like this where we just record ourselves reacting. I don't think I've been on your channel since the reboot. Yeah, I don't like maybe once or twice here and there, but not often. Not in a series like this. Um, I've been in your uh, chat. Yeah, you weird comments. You've but, been in chat, but I haven't been like actually on mic. Yeah, it's been, it's new. It's new and it's old at the same time. Yeah. Um, so Fire Emblem. Real OGs will remember me. <laughs> only 90s kids remember. <laughs> only 90s kids remember. Because only 90s kids should have seen those videos. <laughs> only 90s kids were old enough to watch those videos. <laughs> yeah, here it goes. Okay, it's just, I didn't need to rush through that. We were going to see it all again. It's fine. Oh, Don't well. about it. We're doing this as a live react, which means sometimes things are just gonna happen. Um, but yeah, okay. Quick history on this before we get into it, because I suspect that the moment I press start, we're gonna get a huge wall of exposition again, because mm -hmm. that's just how it goes. Mm -hmm. So, my relationship with Fire Emblem started, as most people of a certain age did, with... Marth and Roy appearing in Super Smash Brothers Melee. In... Honestly, probably most Americans. Yeah, like I said, like most... I probably should have said most Western gamers of a certain age. Yeah. If you know Fire Emblem, you know it from Super Smash Brothers first. And yeah. then, um, because... I feel like even nowadays, though... Yeah, like... even now, like a lot of people you know, probably people know People more or less see them in... In Smash Bros, and they're all like, "Oh, what? Well, who are all these anime people in my in my Nintendo game?" And then eventually they work their way around to yeah. Fire Emblem. But yeah, uh, yeah. So this is uh, Roy from Smash Brothers. I love him. And I love Roy from Smash Brothers. And I'm gonna call him Roy from Smash Brothers because, at least in the United States. Super Smash Brothers preceded Roy's release, and I believe it might. And it, it did precede uh, it in Japan as well. He yeah, was like a promo for the new game, so he is a Smash Bros. character first. <laughs> he first appeared in Super Smash Brothers, and then appeared in Binding Blade, which was released for Game Boy Advance. Um, and Binding Blade was never officially released in uh, outside of Japan, so they did end up releasing. The prequel that came after it, The Blazing Blade, that features Roy's father, but and that was released in the United States at, under the title Fire Emblem, but this didn't ever actually come to the U.S., so we're looking at a, a patch. So if there's any weird names or, you know, it's... I mean, oh, well, how is that translated weird? Like, it's, it's an English patch. It was probably made by fans... I mean, let's Forgive be real, it. it's probably going to be more accurate than anything uh, Nintendo of America would come out with. 
Still seething over that S support Alchrist dialogue. <laughs> I mean, uh, Nintendo of America made people have a lot to seethe over. Yes. Like, <laughs> there's, just there's in general, many... like, ask the, uh, ask the Earthbound fandom. <laughs> Yeah. So <laughs> or anyway. mother fandom, as it were. Mother fandom. Sorry, pedants. <laughs> so, long story short, because we are five minutes in now and we should get to the gameplay, um, yeah. I've never played Binding Blade. I have played Fire Emblem Engage, and I have started my playthrough of Fire Emblem Three Houses. I'm doing a Blue Lion run, and I just got to Azure Moon, and I'm sad. And, and you eventually want to do the remake of the first game that was came out for DS, right? Yeah, but I also think that didn't get an English localization. No, it did. New Mystery of the Fire Emblem did not. Yeah, no. Um, there was there was one in English that came out for the DS. Okay, so that's, that's the one I kept on saying. Hey, you want me to buy this for you? And you're like, oh, I don't know, maybe someday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh. And the reason why I'm not playing that right now, A, because DS emulators are hard, and B, because no one needs to hear me talk about Marth for six hours. So we're going to talk about Roy for six hours yeah. instead. Because, well, I see, I'll talk about Roy for like two hours. I'll go on for days about Marth, because Marth is the goat. I am a Marth main in all Smash Brothers. I don't care that he was broken as hell in Melee. I don't that's care why, that they. That's why have, you liked him. I don't care that they have nerfed him since then to make it fair. You've forgiven him for that. I've forgiven him. I forgive him for anything. <laughs> like a certified good boy. I I like the OVA. Yeah. I enjoy the Fire Emblem OVA because it has Marth in it. That's cringe, but I love you anyway. So <laughs> if it's Marth, I'm there. That's. I think you mean Mars. Mars. <laughs> but uh. That's actually why I picked up Fire Emblem Engage, because I saw that Marth was in it. <laughs> and then I was like, oh shit, I need that immediately after years and years of Janie telling me to play Three Houses because I would love it, and I do. But Roy is also in Fire Emblem Engage, and he's also such a good boy. Which is fun, because... Okay, I know I'm delaying the gameplay again, but it has to be brought up, because and by now the viewers know more about these classes than I do. Um... <laughs> Because coming from the Super Smash Brothers fandom, where we did not have any context for what Marth and Roy were like, the English Smash Brothers fandom just kind of made up wholesale what their personalities were, well, which yeah, was wildly not accurate. All of their original like dialogue lines in the original Smash Brothers game were all in Japanese, so all the American people were just like... What? <laughs> well, and then even learning Japanese to translate their lines becomes kind of a, you know, an an easy thing to misinterpret their characters from because mm -hmm. Roy's is mostly just yelling gibberish huh. like Link, huh. so it was very easy to interpret him as like a himbo, like a, a non intellectual, and then I remember that one of Marth's lines roughly translates to look this way or you know look at me which made it very easy to misinterpret him as like kind of a more vain sort of especially in contrast to Roy and, and um <laughs> so coming no. <laughs> so coming from that right coming from that perception of the characters into engage is where I actually got to see what they're like in canon because I didn't play the first warriors game that Marth actually appears in. Mm -hmm. um, so then playing Engage, where Marth is just the goodest boy, and Roy is also a very good boy, but also kind of a nerd, like kind of kind of an oblivious like, like he does kind of have a himbo personality, but more of you know not more in like the beefy I'm bulky and dumb kind of way, yeah. but more in the I'm oblivious to social cues kind of way. <laughs> and then I also picked up Fire Emblem Heroes. And I have Marth and Roy in that as well. And Roy is like such a freaking nerd in Fire Emblem Heroes. He's always talking about reading books and studying. And he's like, oh yeah, Lelina, my friend from school. Like, he's a huge freaking nerd. <laughs> so it's so it's We'd great love to see it. To now finally get back to the game he's actually supposed to be from and actually see what his personality is. Um, but I'm expecting it to most closely resemble how he is in Heroes, which is nerd. 
I mean, I don't know. Is intelligent systems like super directly involved with the mobile game? I don't know. Because Cause it does I come out usually... in, in Japanese and English. Yeah, I would usually opt to go for like the system games for personality. Well, More intelligent systems not. does produce heroes. Like their their name is on the credits, and well, I don't yeah. know if that's just in a producer way or in you any... know, and that's the same way that technically you know Game Freak produces Pokemon Go. Yeah, true. Like also, um, I'll try to mute the mic whenever it happens, but just so you're aware, audience, I do have a pretty bad cough at the moment. So if the mic suddenly cuts out and then you hear us scrambling to get back to whatever was being said. It's because I coughed. And if you accidentally hear a cough, I'm sorry. Um, I'm just opening my Coke. Don't worry about that. <laughs> yeah. That's what the cough sounds like. I've got the plague. Okay. For reals, for reals I am actually going to start the game now. Fine. We're going to have a lot to read, so I'm going to clear my throat real quick. Okay, and now that I have emitted enough plague virus to kill a small village, <laughs> here Let's we go. go. We didn't actually... Oh, hang on. I accidentally, I accidentally turned the mic off again for some reason. Okay, I was previewing this to make sure that it actually works. So that's why it's got the resume, restart. Um, but I am going to just go to new game. Okay. All right. Yeah, sure, that's fine. Let's go. Man and dragon once coexisted in harmony. Hmm. However, man shattered that harmony with a sudden onslaught when the Fire Nation attacked. Oh God. A great war, now known as the Scouring, was fought for dominion of the land. Losses were tremendous for both sides, and in this war, the very laws of nature itself were twisted and distorted, bringing chaos and unease. Defeated and humbled, the dragons disappeared from the realm. Mankind then began to rebuild and repopulate their newly won land. A millennium has passed since then. A whole millennium. After defeating the dragons, the humans of Alib, Aliba, Aliba, I don't know, whatever, Alib, Alib, quickly spread their <laughs> culture and civilization to the farthest reaches of the continent. In the west lies the kingdom of Etruria, which is widely considered to possess the most refined culture in all of Alib. I'm going to call it Alib. That's what it is now. The kingdom of Bern, with its powerful Burn. military and logical, pragmatic people. So we've got France and we've got Germany. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> is located on the other side of the continent in the east. Yeah, because it even looks like kind of like... Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, France and Germany. Spanish, mm -hmm. France, Spanish, Germany. I guess that makes us Spanish, Italy. Okay. These are the two most powerful nations in Aliv, with the weaker nations situated between them. These smaller lands are the Lycian League, whose numerous territories are independently ruled by a number of marquees that are bound by a vow of allegiance. And I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I'm just going to pronounce it the way that Carolina oh, Zabrowska does. Marquise, stop. Because it's fun and because Carolina Zabrowska's a queen. She is. And she trumps the Marquis. Ilia, where the people arduously till the frozen soil and many become mercenaries to earn money to survive. Russia. Russia. <laughs> Sase. 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 Uh. Various clans ride through the plains on horseback. Mongolia. So, Mongolia. Although there were occasional clashes between these nations, the majority of the people of Aliv lived in peace. That peace, however, was not to last. 
never does. King Zephiel of Bern has commanded his forces to conquer the entirety of Aleve. He's got a bad headache. Bern's armies first attacked <laughs> Mongolia and Russia, ruthlessly <laughs> massacring all who opposed them. I'm not going to even try. <laughs> Now, Burn is mounting a merciless invasion still call it Burn. into Lycia. Because we don't want to lean too closely into funny mustache man. <laughs> because Burn is easy, and whatever <laughs> Mongolia is, is not. Into Lycia, Italy. Italy. Roy's Italian. Confirmed. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Foray is a territory of Lycia known for its beauty and honorable lords. <laughs> you know, just my beauty and honorable lords. <laughs> Humble brag. Foray's Lord Roy was in Ostia, Lycia's largest territory, when the invasion began. He had been sent to study to become the next Marquis of the Foray Territory. Oh, fancy. However, the sitting Marquis and Roy's father, Elliewood, who has been ill, has sent for Roy to return to lead Foray's sol soldiers bleep, in defending against Burn. Like, good on Fire Emblem to not just straight up kill him. <laughs> He'll probably be dead soon. Marquis Hector of Ostia leads the Council of Lords in Lycia. Hector! Okay. At the same time, Elliewood sent for Roy. Marquis Ostia's daughter, Lelina, was in Foray visiting Elliewood. Oh, let's keep it getting along. They send their kids to visit. <laughs> Who is Marquis Ostia's longtime friend and confidant. confidant. And history will call it <laughs> best friends room. I'm just over here like Elliewood, Hector, and um, Lynn. Lynn are all in a polycule. They are. <laughs> like, if I didn't ship Elliewood and uh, Ninian so hard, I would be like, and then Lelina and Roy are half siblings because L Lindis <laughs> is their mom. And <laughs> well, I but mean, then we gotta you know, ship them. So Ninian we can't. can also be a part of the polycule. <laughs> True. Elliewood has two hands. <laughs> exactly. Upon receiving his father's message, Roy hurries home, taking with him his vassals and Bors, a knight from Ostia who is responsible for Lelina's safety. All these people with just very brightly colored hair in this fantasy Europe. I mean, it even transfers over to um, Three Houses as yeah. well, because even Ignatz, who is very clearly blonde, has green hair in his sprites because of the whole, like, red, blue, green thing from it's the early video like, game visuals. Yeah, it's kind of lightly green. It's, like, very sort of light yellow green. Which would not make sense in the context of the canon of that game because everyone with green hair is a god. Mm -hmm. But because of early game systems being limited in their color palettes, the whole red, blue, and green thing is just... If a character is blonde, expect their hair to be represented as green. Or like super bright like yellow. Deep saturated yellow, yeah. The story begins when Roy reaches the outskirts of Ferret. And I have to bring back up this because we're going to have units to add soon. Obviously we're going to have Roy. Chapter 1, Dawn of Destiny. Here we go. Look at them all go. Look at him go. What the fuck is that? Oh god. <laughs> Why does he look like that? He looks like he looks like the ugly <laughs> son from, from the golden <laughs> the no. golden father. <laughs> golden films Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> He's completely useless now. Oh, we're blowing out this mic so bad. Well, yes, we do watch Fail and Porteous. All right. <laughs> However, did you know? Do you want to be this guy or do you want to be the boss? It doesn't matter to me. Uh, I'll be the boss. Okay. Boss. They've all hidden themselves. <laughs> <laughs> we also watched Obscura's Lupa. How did you know? <laughs> this is going to be so hard with my voice the way it is. Don't worry okay. about it. I have to teach tomorrow. <laughs> They've all hidden themselves inside the castle. Hey, even Elliewood, the greatest knight in Lycia, is no match for an illness, it seems. <laughs> He's got the cough of death. <laughs> he, he, he. 
You were right when you said there wouldn't be many soldiers. They're all getting ready to defend against Burn. Of course, of course, I was right. I'm always right, you fool. <laughs> Come hither, fool. <laughs> Jingles miserably across the floor. <laughs> but reinforcements could be here any minute. All right, you curs, listen up. Kill everyone in the castle while we still got time. Then we can waltz out of here with all the loot. Okay. Here, here, here. <laughs> Same voice. <laughs> Castles ain't the only places with loot. Let's go ransack the villages and take everything they got. I'm trying to do different voices. It's really hard. It's oh my god, that whole village was destroyed. Wow. Do you want to be dad or do you want to be old man? <laughs> old man. I think you already have a voice for old man. <laughs> you were here you would. <laughs> we are under attack by bandits from Mount Farm. We're completely <laughs> used. <laughs> Shit. Um, <laughs> Oh my god. god. Okay, I saved the listener's ears on that one. <laughs> I understand. Thank you, Mer- Mer- Merlinus. 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 I, I don't know. No, why would you do that? His name was so beautiful before <laughs> the accident. <laughs> Blast it. Were I not in this pitiful state, I would take care of them all myself. Oh, careful not to jiggle the desk. Your legs kind of tapping against it. I can't help it. I got legs. Legs for days. Legs, legs. What's on the menu? Lord Elliewood. Lilina, you must hide yourself. This castle is going to become a war zone. No, my lord. I can fight too. You're like 13. <laughs> Don't be absurd. <laughs> I couldn't face Hector if something happened to you in my own castle. My husband would kill me. <laughs> my father, but... It's going to be all right. Roy should be here any moment, so we just need to hold our own until then. He'll drive off these dastards. <laughs> They always call them dastards. Like, is it just a more time period accurate? It's, it's just a way of it's just a bastard? fire emblem thing. I feel like it started as a, uh, it started as a um, typo somewhere down the line, and they just went with it. Because I have never heard of dastards before <laughs> fire emblem. I can't wait to be corrected by all the history buffs in the uh, chat. I'm sure everyone's going to be like, um, excuse me, I've read millions of books and you're a, f a fool. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I am a fool. It's true, I am a fool. Merlinus, send a messenger to Roy to let him know that the current situation, let him know the current situation. We need his help. Yes, me lord. And then, like, the horse dude just busts right through all these goddamn bandits like nothing. Yeah, just <laughs> rides on through. Oh, do you want to be good boy or do you want me to be good boy? Um, I'll be good boy seeing as how you're L Lilina. Okay, yeah, since I'm doing Lilina, you gotta be good boy. Yeah, I'm sure they'll be talking to each other a lot. Oh, it's Lance. What's the matter? Why are you in such a hurry? <laughs> Do you like my, my shonen pro tag? Shonen pro tag. <laughs> I just glance over because I can hear the mice chewing and Winnie is just staring transfixed at the mice. She does nothing, just stares at them. <clears throat> okay, back to it. Lord Roy, bandits have appeared and are attacking the castle as we speak. Oh, Who is that? Red Lance. Uh... <laughs> No, is the Marquis unharmed? He's inside, defending against the bandit's attack. But I don't know how long he can last with his illness. Don't you say that. Excuse me, Lance, is it? Is Lady Lelina safe? You must be a knight of Ostia. Lady Lelina is in the castle. She should be all right. 
She's with Lord Ellywood, after all. But he can't last forever. No. I shouldn't have let Lena go to the castle before me. <laughs> Who's this twink? Blonde Lance! <laughs> Lord Roy, regret won't solve anything. We must retake the castle. Do you like my shonen friend? <laughs> Walt is right. We must make haste. It's going to be hard keeping track of who's who. Do you like my old man? <laughs> yes, you're right. This is no time to despair. Not when I have friendship on my side. <laughs> Very well. To arms, then. Our target is the castle. We must rescue everyone with the power of friendship okay. and the heart of the cards. Time to um, time to go back over to this, and okay, so we've got we've got Roy, um, oops, Lance. I'm accidentally clicking on things I don't want to be clicking on. Uh, Lance. Lance. We have Walt. Uh, Walt. Bors. Bors. Is that his name? Yeah, it is. Let me let me it's click cool. on everyone real quick just so I remember. Okay, we've got this is Lance, Allen, 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 Walt, Marcus, Marcus, and Bors. Lance, Allen. Uh, it keeps clicking on things that I don't want to click on while I'm trying to type. Oop. Marcus oh. and Alan. 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 Okay. Okay. Now I can lower this menu and focus on this. Oh, good. It tells us what they are. Okay, so Roy is a lord. Marcus is a paladin. Ooh. Alan and Lance are cavaliers. Okay. Walt's an archer and Bors is a knight. Ooh, thank you, boy. And okay. if I'm not mistaken, the classes as of this point in the games, are a lot more simple than what we are used to uh, currently. Yeah, like, I know Fire Emblem Three Houses especially is, like, um, very, very fancy in the way that you can pretty much class anyone into anything if you, uh, if you send them to the right classes. All right, and all the bandits are axe. Oh, here's our enemy commander. Um, they're all axes except for an archer, and this guy looks like he's a more advanced yeah, that's a, axe that's user. A, that's a big boy. That's a big guy. He's going to hit hard. Okay, so swords are strong against axes. Okay, so we're good. Uh, and I'm not going to go over the combat system too hard because I am just okay. very familiar with Fire Emblem Combat. Well, he has a lance, though. Are you uh, sure? But he also has a sword. Because oh, okay. in this one, Cavaliers can use swords and oh, spears. Oh, yay. So. Okay. Get him. Get him. Get him. Blah. Almost got him. Okay. Can I just take a moment to appreciate, like, these little flares in the animation with, like, the horses on those attacks? Yeah. They didn't need to do that. That was for us. Oh, Roy, your limited movement. You're going to be getting all kinds of um, movement buffs, little man. If they exist in this game. I mean, there's like stat items, I'm pretty sure. All right, here we go. And Alan should take this guy out. Oh, he's only got one no, hit. No, he only on has him. one hit. Dang. All right, we'll let Walt get some damage in then. And yeah, Archer's accuracy is... Oh, come on, Walt. Come on, Walt. It's first first fight, man. Oh, and rescue is something that I was not familiar with, and then I went and looked it up. So apparently, because in this game, there is no casual mode, nor yeah. is there any similar mechanic to Divine Pulse. If your mm -hmm. dude dies, they die. Yeah. So if someone is really low on HP, you can rescue them. Um, which basically just takes them out of the fight, mm -hmm. but they aren't going to die yeah. permanently. So, Which is useful. Which is good to make sure that your dudes don't die, because if they're yeah. gone, they're gone. And, you know, um, aside from, like, save scumming to 
go back and save them, which I'm not going to do. This is an organic run. Mm -hmm. If someone dies, they're dead, and we just have to fucking deal with it. <laughs> yeah. Curses! Reinforcements already! I've already forgotten this guy's voice, but I'll try my best. But they'll have to get through me to get into the castle. Enemy phase. Oh boy, here we go. Miss. Point. Yay! <laughs> One shot. I also note that um, the weapon triangle seems to also have a much bigger effect on accuracy mm -hmm. in this game, as opposed to later Fire Emblem games, because these guys will just dodge these axes left and right. If well, they're equipped with a sword. That's useful. So, you know, especially in a game where every point of HP really counts. Mm -hmm. Okay, Alan, redeem yourself. Oh, you didn't want to move? Oh, yeah. You know, let's... Let's have you... Move up, yeah. Pop on over here. Whoops. What did I do? Oh, okay. All right. Get this guy. Bonk. <laughs> He's dead now. He's dead now. <clears throat> and we'll have... Actually, no. I'm gonna have Walt attack after Marcus, because Marcus... Seems like he's probably your already advanced unit that you normally start off with. Mm -hmm. Well, they're all level one. So, um, yeah, but like you'll yeah, see... Yeah, he's got way more HP. Yeah, way more HP and also the difference in the experience that he gets. Yeah. Again, I love these little extra animations with the horses. Mm -hmm. They didn't need to do that, but they did and I respect it. They did that for me. They did that for me. Me specifically. Archer fight. Boink. Boink. <laughs> My archer's better than yours by one HP. Boink. Sword. Boink. Yeah, Lance hits twice, which is nice. Yeah. That means he's speedy. So nice, he attacks him twice. <laughs> And then Roy has about as much movement as a heavy armor unit. I wonder what I'll class him into. Put that boy on a horse. <laughs> See, I don't know if I can put him on a horse in this game. We'll find yeah, out. Probably not. Like they don't. You don't have the the one thing about uh, playing three houses and then going to this is that you're not going to have nearly as much like customization. And when it comes to uh, classing. All right, I want this guy out of the way first thing, so let's just, uh, kill him. Come around here. Yeah, like, I've been spoiled by the later Fire Emblem games, so it's going to be fun watching me just struggle my way through <laughs> this one. <laughs> and any other Fire Emblem game that I move on to. Uh, we'll let Lance get that a experience with that guy I love the little horse jump it's so good clop 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 just clip clop clickety clack down the track it's lots and lots of horse okay I think this will get him yeah this will get him this will kill him this will kill him I love that Roy's got a special little weapon because he's a special little guy he's the main character all right, just clearing out these bandits. Now I wish I'd saved some of my Fire Emblem talk for, for this part of the video. It's fine. It's fine. We can still have fun. And Boars did nothing the whole fight. He's a heavy armor unit. If you kill him... Oh, thank God. I'm like, watch me lose someone in the very first fight. Alan! Alan! <laughs> Do you have any items? Um, I have vulnerabilities, yeah. Okay. <gasps> oh. Get him, Lance. Get yeah, em. get him. Get him. Get him. 
All right, looking good. Try Boars. <laughs> Boars, do something, dude. Yeah, let, let's let Boars get one in here. It's got a lance. It's weak. It's but fine. it's okay, because he only has two him. HP. Boom. Boars has no face. It's fine. Yeah, he can have a little character art in his in his little his little portrait, oh, but like do that's a treat. That's a treat. Alright, Marcus, you're gonna draw them out. See, I'm also used to, and this is something that it messes me up in Heroes too, because in three houses, if you put your units all together like this, it increases their evasion. And I don't think that's the case here. But it's not gonna hurt anything. Then again, this guy's hit is only seven right now, so maybe it does increase their evasion. Who knows? Or maybe they just really suck. Maybe they just really fucking suck. Who knows? Hi, Hi Winnie. Winnie. Hi, baby girl. Hi, little. I love. Did you love that switch? That that tone switch from <laughs> maybe they fucking suck to baby. Baby little, girl. Little girl. Oh, little girl. Little sweet baby. <laughs> this is just how we are. That's that's and that's how it is. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna go see if I can help this village. I'll go send him down there to help out. Yeah, you've got low HP, buddy. It's time to time to put you somewhere safe. Dick around elsewhere. Marcus will take care of things. Oh no, he hit me for what? The whole three HP? Wow! Wow! Ten. Ten. Yeah, Lance, you're not looking so so hot either. Can I just... Okay, I can just go right into this village, I guess. Fuck your wall. I mean, those walls look already pretty fucked. Look at them. <laughs> A bandit set one foot in there and property values just plummeted. <laughs> He's gonna crit. Oh my god. You ever fuck up so bad? <laughs> he critted. He critted that guy. See, I love how the horse like gears up for it too. Like the horse knows it's gonna crit. It does I, the same thing in three houses. That does like a stupid little spin, like, and I love it. I love it. I love that. It's adorable. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No. It's. It's just. This is just land. This is nothing. Roy, go forward. Beat up the guy. Beat up the the dude. Well, let's have Walt do it first. Okay. You bubbling idiots. You can't take down a few pathetic knights. We have the power of friendship on our side. <laughs> friendship and spiky anime hair. And a sick ass sword, too. Like, that certainly I, doesn't hurt. I mean, hurt. it's just an iron sword, but, you know. Oh, no, I'm looking at the sword in Roy's artwork. Yeah, the yeah. binding blade itself. The binding blade. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, he's got a steel. Level head. up time. Level up. Let's see how good your level up is. Oh, it's only three. Uh, his res went up, though, so oh, okay. I'll take that because, yeah. God, his res needs improvement. It's literally at zero. All right, and the lance isn't as good against the axe, but it'll do something at least. Mm -hmm. Or it won't. It won't do shit, actually. <laughs> or I'll just piss into the wind. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> you know. You know, as you do. Oh, the bitch oh, heals. He healed. What a bitch. He healed and he attacked? What the fuck? Rude as hell. You can't use an item and also attack. Gosh. Well, he is a bandit. Expecting him to play by the rules is a little bit, you know. Okay, and Roy should just barely take him out. Do it, Roy. Kill him. Yeah, Roy's our boy. Roy's our boy. All right, got him. What the? So strong. Sagoy. Sagoy. This 13 year old absolutely murdered me. <laughs> oh, and then we gotta. Oh, wait. 
I gotta, I gotta have Roy go step on the castle. Or else it's not over. Okay. Okay, Roy. Seize the castle. Father! Lelina! Roy, is that you? Now's the part of the video where Ray talks to himself. It's fine. I'm used to it. Roy! Oh, hey. I'm so glad to see you both. Thank goodness you're unharmed. <laughs> Thanks for the rescue, Roy. Lelina was here and now she's gone. She's gone now. <laughs> Lelina, get out of here. It's man time right now. Of course, Father. How is your health? Well enough. I've seen some life left in me yet. Don't say that, dude. That's that's That proves you're going to die. But Roy, do you know why I called you back here? I'm to take over your role by leading the soldiers of... Foray. Foray. I think. I'm guessing. Whatever. We must join the rest of the Lyce Lycian army to defend our people. Exactly. As you know, Burn has commenced an invasion of Lycia. We are honor-bound to follow the ancient vows of our allegiance. Lycia needs every lord's army, and we must oblige. Of course. Of course! <laughs> I am truly sorry to interrupt your studies and force you into this war. You think Celestia had a Twilight Sparkle? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not well. I'm in no condition to lead an army. Damn, his rheumatism. <laughs> rheumatism? Father. Lord Elliewood, I'll go with Roy. My father leads Lycia's largest army. And I'm certain my magic will be of help to Roy. No, Lelina, you must return to Ostia. <laughs> no girls allowed. <laughs> no girls allowed. Why? Because of your vagina. <laughs> With Hector preparing for battle, there is no sitting on the throne of Ost no one sitting on the throne of Ostia. It must be an uneasy feeling for the people not to have a sitting lord. <clears throat> I mean, at least they're giving reasons other than girl. Yeah. But the, it, very much an undercurrent of girl. girl. <laughs> you can't fight. You have test, t t tits. <laughs> As the daughter of the Marquis, you must take the throne until Hector returns. Marquis, stop. stop. <laughs> that will put the people at ease. Do you have any objections? Yes, frankly, Roy and his six abs. Uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. Roy is not shredded at all. I don't know. Look at that artwork. He's got like he's got some. He's got some definition. He's got yeah, some delts right but, there. But he's also holding like the legendary weapon in that. So like that's after he's been at war for a little bit. He's got that haunted look in his eyes. <laughs> He's got that feral raccoon. <laughs> no, only no, Dimitri. Only Dimitri. Only Dimitri can be our feral raccoon. Also, when I say this, just be aware that I'm speaking from Lelina's perspective. I am a Marth person, first and foremost. Um, he is my gender, my bias. <laughs> but you like Roy, too. Yeah, Roy's, like, Roy's a, again, certified good boy. Um, He's a sweetheart. You know, Fire Emblem Protag, pure of heart, dumb of ass. Yeah, Fire Emblem Protags in general are just a really, really good gender to have. Very valid. Very golden retriever of him. Uh-huh. No, my lord. Roy, I have arranged a contract with a group of mercenaries. You are to meet them at the border to burn. Merlinius will accompany you. I hate that name so much. He is knowledgeable and experienced and should be of great help. Thank you for everything, Father. Don't worry, my son. I have absolute faith in you. This is definitely not the last time you're going to speak to each other. <laughs> Fight bravely and show everyone who the next Marquis of Fer Foray is. Foray? Foray? Yes, Father. <laughs> he just could... Bors, I have a favor to ask of you. 
You needn't ask me, lady. I will accompany Lord Roy on in his travels and protect him with my very life. Thank you, Bors. You are a tool to be used and discarded. Take care, Roy. I will. You too, Lelina. And that's the end of this chapter. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed it. <laughs> I had fun. I know I did. And I have no idea when the next one of these will be up, but um, hopefully we'll keep them under an hour each. It really just depends on how long the combat section takes and how much tomfoolery we get up to in the meantime. Um, <laughs> I know you, you're always down for tomfoolery. Yeah. Vote your least favorite unit off the island, I guess, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.